plastic bags, packaging material, and newspaper. What, what do these items all have in common? They're disposable. They're considered trash after their use, and the reason why that's important to know is that, that uh, there comes a dilemma of dealing with our trash after you know we don't want them. So waste management offers to uh, manage our unwanted garbage and it uh, cleans our uh, keeps our society clean and protects the environment. And it's uh, very crucial to understand our current waste management systems in order to make the optimal decision of the most economical and efficient method. So today I'll be discussing the, the three main methods that we, the three main me waste management methods that we use today, which are uh, landfilling, incineration, and uh, recycling. And I'll be discussing the, some of the pros and cons of each method. So what is landfilling? It's, uh, it's pretty much a process in which we uh, bury our waste in, uh, like beneath the earth. So once all the garbage is collected in the uh, garbage trucks, they go to these landfill sites, which are which are uh, structures that are built and funded by the local government usually, and they have these. Um, so first, they what they do is they compress the trash as much as possible, and they put it in the area. And once the landfill is covered and filled, they uh, put some vegetation over it. And once it's closed, they have to monitor these uh, sites because they could uh, have an environmental uh, risk to, because it could connect, contaminate the groundwater. Um, so pretty much when they're burying the, when they're burying the waste, they have to make sure it's stable and it does not contaminate nearby surroundings. So that's why they have uh, filtering systems and And so uh, here we have the, the waste. So and those are all the filtering systems, and that's to make sure the the groundwater is not contaminated by any any of the waste that may have leaked. So so pretty much that's how it, it looks. The landfill sites, and and yeah, that's. Now some of you may wonder how, how long the waste uh, lasts in these landfills. And, and some experts such as, um, such, such as the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Science, U.S. National Park Service, United States Composting Council, and many others give their estimates of how long uh, certain materials last underneath the earth. Uh, materials such as glass bottles uh, can last indefinitely because they're very resistant. Um, plastic bags can last for 500 years or more. So it, it, when you have these uh, trash inside underneath the earth, it, it's not just simply out of sight. It, it usually stays there for a very long time. Uh, the next method I'm going to be discussing is uh, incineration, which is in contrast to landfilling, which is burying the, the trash, we have incineration, which is burning the trash. Um, but it doesn't come without its risks as well, because um, according to the British Journal of Cancer, there were 37% excess cases of liver cancer in populations living within one kilometers of these sites. So you have like even though it's uh, it seems like an easy way to get rid of the waste, it can pose a lot of environmental concerns. And, and
and the United Nations Environment Pro Program claims that 69% of dioxins um, come from incineration. And dioxin is a harmful and persistent chemical that can cause cancer, uh, reproductive and immune system, and nervous system disorders. So it's, uh, it's not a very good pollutant to have uh, exposed to the air. But, uh, but some small countries like Japan, you know, use incineration because, you know, their space is limited. So they can't, you know, use landfills as a reliable way to get rid of their waste. So that may be one pro advantage to using land or incinerators. So that's how the incinerator sites look. And inside, uh, they have they dump the waste here, and the crane lifts up the material, and it goes into the incinerator, and uh, they store the ash in that bunker, and that is later uh, used for other purposes. So now that we've gone over the two methods, let's talk about recycling, um, which is, in my opinion, the most uh, efficient method. Um, recycling benefits is that it can cons conserve energy and resources. Using recycled materials is uh, much easier to manufacture than using virgin materials. Virgin materials means you know materials that haven't been used or consumed yet. Um, Aluminum, for example, can be uh, especially cost efficient to recycle because they cost or they use 95% less energy than using the virgin materials for aluminum. And um, some opposing views of recycling say that it's not economical, and in some cases that can be true, but. Um, that, that is the challenge of recycling companies and organiza organizations, but however, there is a great example of someone who is successfully recycling and sustainably as well. Uh, Tom Zaki, CEO of TerraCycle, is uh, found, also the founder. Um, he founded the company by using worms to ingest waste of the garbage and use the worms in the worms poop to make fertilizer. And then he later uh, also recycled other materials and That is some of the examples of product recycled products. Like uh, that's upcycling, where you fuse together and weave the products together, and you know um, they can also make products like trash cans and benches. And uh, and that is the CEO of TerraCycle, who is um, has reached revenues of 13.3 million for the first year of profit in 2010. And and uh, they have 19 million people worldwide collecting trash to recycle and preventing half a billion pieces of trash per month ending up in the landfill. So it's a very uh, effective way to recycle. Uh, now that you are equipped with the knowledge of our waste management system, I hope you can appreciate what our waste management can offer. All right, Yunsung, what did you think? Um, 